Hello dancers and welcome back to the Dance Academy YouTube channel. At the start of season 2, Miss Rain introduces a new dancer to the academy, her goddaughter Grace. She blows the others away with her dancing, but soon we start to get glimpses of her complicated past. Grace arrives to the academy from London, adamant she wasn't staying in Australia, but her dad cuts off her credit card, forcing her hand. Abigail feels threatened by her skill and gets some first years to do some digging into why she had to leave London. I know what happened in London. You're seriously sitting in the dark? And I'm guessing Miss Rain doesn't know. Otherwise she would never have let you into the academy. Really? You're a safety hazard, Grace. So why don't you go upstairs, flush your creepy little fish, book a taxi, and I'll leave your reputation intact. Miss Rain is my godmother and the principal. Of course she knows. So give me the summary. I got expelled for giving a girl a nervous breakdown. Tell who you like. I don't need to feel popular. Neither do I. Hence the minions. Look. I'm stuck here, but I don't care about being the best. <laughs> Grace lets Abigail into the lies she tells for fun, but soon these lies get turned on Abigail herself. There's only one rule. We get everything for free. Help! Someone help! My friend's collapsing! What are you doing? My friend is collapsing? Go with me. Please, anyone! This is an emergency! She okay? My friend Hermione gets super low blood sugar. Don't try to be brave, Hermione, honey. This man is going to help us. Ooh, what does she need? Oh, I'll call an ambulance. There's no time. If she doesn't get something sweet immediately, she'll go into shock. OK, stay right here. I'll, I'll be back. Organic chocolate only. Faster! I could kill you. Sweating forehead, wide eyes, racing pulse. Abby, I think you just had fun. That was the least amount of fun I've ever had in my entire life. So what's next? Come on. There, see? It's all there underneath. You just have to strip back the layers. Ah, subtext. Hey, Grace. The chemistry in this room, out of control. I literally have goosebumps. What's she talking about? I get it. You're not ready to go public yet? My lips are sealed. Sorry about before. Huh? The whole teasing you and Abigail. Totally juvenile. Uh, don't worry about it. Projection. Excuse me? I think that's what it's called. When you accuse someone of feeling a certain way, but it's actually you who has those feelings. Abby, wait! <laughs> Talking to Ethan, trying to suss out what was going on with you guys, and then his tongue was down my throat. <laughs> You're amazing. Thanks so much for putting us on the door. I didn't. I thought you guys bought tickets. You texted Christian about it. Whoever it was, it wasn't me. It was Kat. Uh, excuse me? You've been texting Christian all night. How would you know? Thank you, Abigail. Sorry, what? Want to check her phone? Why, why have you been texting Christian? Last night was fun. Yeah. You did a good job getting rid of Kat. She deserved it. She lied to Tara's face. So it was all for Tara. <laughs> it kind of seemed like you're out to get Kat the moment she hijacked your night. Judgment abs. Really? You've done a lot worse. Daddy, it's me. Calling to say congrats on the latest evil spawn gestating in womb five. I'm totally buying you guys a present. Just as soon as you increase my credit limit like we talked about. These are broken as well and I've only just sewn the ribbons on. Yeah, mine too. I guess Abigail's are okay. Why are you sitting here? We were gonna hang out. 
all of my point shoes are broken, all of Grace's point shoes are broken, and I want to believe that you've changed, but... <laughs> so that's me one and you nil. And I'm still only in second gear. Come on, Abs, let's hug it out and make up now. I miss you. Grace, you're whack. And I'm rising above. Enjoy round two. The longer Grace stays at the academy, the more bad behaviour and revelations we get about Grace and her absent father. So my dad's not flying over. I'm sorry, that's rough. He never was. He just occasionally gets guilty, so he books a plane ticket. Not guilty enough to get on the plane. They must be very proud of you for making the internationals. You should be proud of yourself. At least you're here. Hmm. Whoa! Grace! What? I won't tell anyone. There's nothing to tell. I'm your teacher, you're my student. Then why have you been giving me all this special attention? Grace, I want to be very clear. Whatever you think is going on is only happening in your head. Miss Rain gets more and more involved in Grace's life and she tries her best to take Grace under her wing, despite Grace trying to pull away at every opportunity. Meanwhile, Ben does his best to befriend the complicated dancer. Grace, look. Oh my goodness, it's a monkey. Oh, your new sister's adorable. She'd want to be with a name like Angel. I got kicked out of class. All this domestic change must be acting out. Have you spoken to your father? I got that group email. He really should. What? We see you have an opinion. I think your father's a brilliant man. I also think he doesn't give you enough of his time. You don't know him. My dad is the only person who has ever been there for me. Ever. Who are you? Some lonely old woman who thinks she knows me? Because a million years ago you were friends with my mum. Grace? Grace! It was a million years ago. Your mother and I. You were gods? <laughs> we were new romantics, thank you. <laughs> that was taken at an Adam and the Ants concert. <laughs> there was no one like your mum. I can't tell you some of the things she'd get me to do. <laughs> Dad said she was depressed. I remember her lying in bed. Yeah, that came later. And I blamed your father for taking her away and I shouldn't have. I thought she was better off dancing in the company. Now, thinking back, she always put on this big act, but you never knew what was going on inside. Maybe she thought nobody would be interested. She might have felt less lonely if she'd given people the chance to decide. Super fun. I'm so glad you invited yourself. Training bra. Can't be fun. Yeah, don't get all twisty. Grace and I really did need a bond. You don't even realise she's manipulating you. OK, uh, let's play again. And you might have more fun if you try this time. Not trying. Not trying. Are you kidding me? Shoes! It's probably just new relationship kinks. And if you can't iron them out, it's better to know now with the tour coming up. I just mean, I don't want my co-star heartbroken when it doesn't work out. Tara and I are breaking up. The only issue here is you doing mental things like crashing our day. Mental? Yeah. It's just a bit too much of the crazy grace.
What version is that? My mother's. Don't worry, you'll dance it with Tara. I'm obviously too fragile. How do you mean? It's a euphemism. You said it better. I'm crazy. At any moment, I could fall off a balcony. Another euphemism. Like my mother. It's odd. I... I don't want to be like her. But I want to know her. I guess this role... I didn't know that about your mum. Please don't feel sorry for me. Well, you just told me a pretty sad story. And I don't think you're totally crazy. You're also funny and challenging. And you make cool hats. <laughs> we are going to tear up regional Australia. I need you as my wingman. Such an irresponsible present. I told Marcus I didn't have time to take care of an animal. I say get rid of him. The kidder, not Marcus. How's that? Good. Release from your centre. Isabel says that Eloise, you know the girl whose place I'm taking on the tour? Whose place you're probably taking. They say it isn't confirmed. Right, well, her dad is like on a respirator. So unlikely she'll make it back. How sad is that? Oh, I think you missed the sisson. Doesn't it feel like everything's working out for us? You have Marcus and the furball. And I have the company. Girls, there are so much more on my level. I'm proud how far you've come this year. <laughs> Thanks, Lucy. Mushy, mushy. I've got the core work down as well as the solos. Consider this dance cog fully greased. Didn't we hear this morning from Eloise? Mm -hmm. oh, darling, worst luck. You know I would take you if I could. But the horrible money people are on at me about numbers. But I downloaded a phrase book. And that shows a wonderful work ethic. Do keep it up. I just heard about the tour. And you blew off a night of happy families to pretend you care? What you don't get is that I don't need the company and I don't need you. I don't need anyone. Grace, what happened? <laughs> I think Miss Rain and Ben brought out the best in Grace, encouraging her to move past her complicated Sorry. upbringing. Ben's double to the rescue. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> so, come on, he loved you, right? Uh, I, I honestly couldn't tell. But I like Marcus. Austin could be good. And running over here, I just kept thinking... You've been my best friend this whole year. I don't want to spend the next one without you. I can't go to Austin. I've got so much stuff to work out. I can help. I'm, I'm good with stuff, so... My MO is making someone my whole world and then hating them for it. I don't want to hate you. Thank you for doing this. I understand, of course I do in the circumstances, but I am... Kat did me a massive favour. I figured if I was saying goodbye to ballet, I wanted to make it a good one. Guys, what surprised you most about Grace's journey? Don't forget to leave a comment down below and we'll catch you next time on the Dance Academy YouTube channel.